What was the USB cart of death and how many people died? Uh, the USB cart of death was, uh, it did not kill any people, but it did kill a lot of builds. So when the USB, when USB was first being developed, of course, every the kernel team, the divide, the USB team is put together, and they're like frantically writing code to support this new hardware, hardware device and protocol, and all these other things. And the USB cart of death was one of those um, like office carts, like a mail cart, but it was loaded with like every USB device that they could get their hands on. So it had like a US, it had you know a USB mouse. USB keyboard. In fact, we'll have like three USB mice and four USB keyboards and, you know, maybe a, and a USB connected printer and some, you know, USB everything. And it all, they were all connected together on this office cart, connected through, of course, a whole bunch of USB hubs um, set to like all set to the maximum. So I think at the time USB had a limit, the USB limit was 64 devices. So it's like, okay, let's go get 64 things and like put them on this cart plug them into uh and it's like oh and the usb spec says oh uh, you can you can you can daisy chain hubs up to three deep it's like okay we're gonna daisy chain hubs up to three deep and so this and so this is it was nicknamed the usb cart of death because it was just this cart loaded with crazy usb devices um in order to help maneuver this cart one of the USB devices was a USB gaming steering wheel, which was attached to the front. So you could actually drive this cart down the hallway. Uh, and it was called, and, and the way you used the USB cart of death was you walked up, well, you, you drove up using the steering wheel. You drove up to the office of a developer on the kernel team who was working on USB. And you said, hi, do you have a test machine? Yeah, can I plug something into it? And they'd be like, um, maybe. And you plug, and everything funneled into just one plug. So you plug that one plug into the test machine. The entire USB infrastructure would go crazy because it's just like, oh my goodness, I see 64 new machines connected through hubs three deep and all this other stuff. And depending on how you felt, if you were the person driving the cart, you might just like sit and wait for the entire USB system to settle down and then like try typing on the keyboard, see if the keyboard works, play with the mouse, you know, see if the see if the steering wheel works in some game. If you were feeling rude, what you would do is you would plug it in, watch the watch the plug and play system enumerate the devices and start loading drivers for them, and then yank the plug right in the middle. Um, and then watch the USB system frantically recover from devices disappearing while it was in the middle of installing them. And so this was the card of death because the usual result of this uh, was a blue screen. Right. Um, because, you know, all this code was just like fresh out of the oven. And so this thing found like race conditions and all sorts of, you know, unhandled error conditions. And, and you could just walk into a lab, like the USB testing lab, just have a whole row of machines and just use this one thing, the USB card of death. Plug in, yank it, at a, you know, count to five, yank it. Move on to the next machine. Plug it in. Count to seven. Yank it. Move on to the next machine. Count to seven again. Yank it. Oh, crash in a different way. How about that? Um, and so you could just have every morning an entire bank of machines that have all crashed, waiting for developers, ready for developers to come in and debug and figure out what went wrong so that way it wouldn't crash next time. And it wouldn't crash next time the same way. You would, They'd say, yes, we fixed that bug. And that's great. Let me do it. I yank it. Yes, congratulations. It crashed for a different reason, and eventually, you could. The goal was to get it to a point where you could plug in the USB card of death, unplug it anytime you wanted, and everything would still work. And I think they made it. Eventually, yeah. I don't remember yeah. it crashed during the or the uh, Bill G keynote keynote. Chris Capicello was on stage with Bill, and they were doing a scanner into Win ninety five, and I think it blue screened under that. Yeah, that USB was stack. that was. Uh, I believe that was showing USB support in Windows ninety eight. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, and so that... It was a beta either way, I know. Yeah, that, and that, that predated the card of death. The card of death may have been inspired by it, maybe. May it was like, we want to make sure this doesn't happen again. 